Guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Can't believe I've even completed this Kenshi challenge. I was doing it and then I, I got a bit sidetracked and distracted. I was like, wait, hold on a minute. I've still, <laughs> I've still got Kenshi to unlock. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't used them yet. So let's uh, complete these last few battles and, and get it underway. So let's add him to my collection. So first off, you need your bronze characters on your team only for the first tower. So let's get this one started. So, I mean, it's... For anyone who hasn't um, played this game before, very straightforward, simple taps for your attack. They, your characters generally do a three to five hit combo. Um, sometimes you'll be given the opportunity to do a really. You'll be given the opportunity to do a combo ender where you have to swipe up, down, left, or right, but. If not, then yeah, it's just gonna be very straightforward and just constant tapping. Why is that going out of focus? Cool. So, tower one completed. Completion, you get lovely 10,000 souls. So, coins, souls. I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, tower number two, silvers and bronze characters only. I'm going to change this up a little bit because Ermac um, looks a little naturally. I can probably complete it with this team actually let's challenge myself a little bit it's always good to do that every now and again all right so as i was saying yeah so a couple of taps i generally just consistently tap as much as possible until i see a combo ender or not two fingers on the screen or on your phone or whatever it is you're using to block and and that's pretty much it as you fight you'll fill up your power bar which is just bar down at the bottom here as you can see um, you get that upon completion of an attack or even if they block or if you get hit as well if you do use a special move as you can see you have to do a specific way of activating it i.e. swipe gestures or even um, it can be tapping and certain parts of the screen to actually pull it off and that's it, it's pretty straightforward, but the main part of this game is obviously down to tactics and making sure you use the right characters um, in order to complete certain battles um, to use them to your advantage. Second tower completion gives us 20,000 coins, nice. Third tower, silver characters only, so I've got to make a switcheroo and I can see I need a spec ops character on my next one, so have I got one activated there or there? No I do not, so let's change it up quickly to edit my team. Uh, it's throwing a silver character, which is Spec Ops, which is cool. Uh, she's level 50. Let's just dash in another one. And let's dash in Scorpion. Why not? Cool. Got a nice little mix right there. Fight. Now, as this is a challenge, there are a lot of... Cri oh, I swiped the wrong way. How terrible of me. There are a lot of criteria in terms of what you have to do and what you don't have to do um, but yeah let's not go into that you see it, the description is at the beginning of the battle so you can see this is a different way of completing your special move your three bars if you've got a gold character you have a final bar or your fir third bar will pull off an x-ray if you've got a silver character it will pull off a really strong move so completion of the third tower gives us a beautiful amount of 35 souls. So let's move on to the next one. Spec Ops character must be on your team, which I already have set up already. So straight fight into that one. You. As you can see, my team is currently just losing health as the match goes on. So it depends on how strong your characters are and how much health they've got. Um, you might not last very long. So it's really good to just try and rank up your characters as quick as possible, just so you can complete your battle as quick as possible as well. Oh, look at that. Yeah, like that, <laughs> for example. So that is what, three? Three down? Not bad. And we get, upon completion of that, a card pack, which gives us, was that four? Oh, nice. Uh, so this is a Legion of Souls, which is Ermac's uh, health card, so increased health from six to nine percent for me. Because I already have one already, or two, should I say? So that's nice. 
also get broiler gobs which I already have fully maxed so that this gets sold in the shop and Kung Jin again another card I already have silver character so that gets sold straight in the shop as well and final one you must have Ermac on your team so I've got to change it up and as you can see look at his stats wow 5,763 on his strength and a whopping 150,000 on his health so this is a, a very interesting so game power from and wait, sorry, Ermac must be on your team. Gain power from the undefeatable Shadow Clone, then use it against Boss Kenshi. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Alright, so let's switch it up a little bit. I'm going to put on my good strong team just so I can complete this battle quite quickly and just change somebody with Ermac. So, ooh, which Ermac should I use? I'll use Spectral Ermac. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's give this a try. Hopefully, I can do it first time. And fight. fight. Okay, that, no matter how much health you got. I, I like these new boss battles because they don't have um, a power bar, so you can't see how they're. Oh, wow, interesting. Interesting. It's a good thing you're not very strong. And look at you just blocking everything, can't you? Oh, should I do the final? Who's seen scorpions? Oh, what's this? Okay. Sugar. Wow. That's a lot of damage. And he stopped me from using my, my final. Alright, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Alright, I'm tag someone else in for a while. Oh, look at that. Oh, you rank up your move very quickly, don't you? When he's tagged in. Okay. Maybe I should do Sonya's final. Yeah, let's do Sonya's final. I haven't seen this one in a while. X-ray time. Ouch. Ouch. Triple ouch. Ooh. Oh, I can't use this final. Why can't I use Scorpion's final? I wonder if that will stay on the burn. No, nope. uh, Mac, you're up. Yeah, that's nice. That was good timing. Good timing. Good timing. This is. I like this. This is quite interesting. Oh, so if you get your. F uh oh, not again. Oh, that was terrible. I am really bad at that. Okay, cool. Let's do this again. Uh, I've got my two bars, so I can't use my final move on. Oh, I could have used it. Okay. Too bad. Oh, he just doesn't like... Oh my gosh, he just doesn't like Scorpion, does he? Oh. Okay, so you can't use your final move on this guy, which is cool. But you can use your first or second move. But yeah, I just want to get... um. This is the um, uh, Max final as well. Nice. Nice. Oh, uh, Mac, he might be gone. Oh, nice defense. Beautiful. Oh, come on, Scorpion. Let's finish it off with Scorpion's final. Tag out. There we go. Gotta love Scorpion. <laughs> I think after all the damage you've done to Scorpion, I think he deserves to kill you. Nice. So at the end of that, we also get a nice reward of 50 souls, but we also get... Ronin Kenshi. So, Kenjutsu. So, a plus 30% attack versus martial artist. Upon successful block of a special attack, for two seconds, Kenshi is unblockable and auto crit. Interesting. I want to see how that, that, that phases out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can put an, uh, or, um, a lot of crit and unblockable sort of equipment cards on characters anyway. So, 
not amazing, but interesting. So I think I'll just have to rank him up and see how it, how it pans out. But guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I shall see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.